Hey guys, my name is Logan or Cream Tag, and today we've got a POV kind of behind the scenes video of what it looks like when I'm shooting a cinematic car video. There's a lot of convo between you know me and the owner of the car. I've got a lot of good tidbits and information for you guys when you guys are filming and shooting automotive content or really just any form of content in general. So hopefully this video will be of good use to you. You'll get some good information out of this and also you kind of see what my process looks like when I'm shooting a video. Now, there will be the video at the end, so stay tuned and uh, check out the final product. Uh, it'll be at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I'm an amateur photographer, like very amateur. Yeah? Like, I just figured out taking a camera try taking shots. Yeah, why not? Well, I'll probably, I'll probably shoot some photos after as well. Oh. I can, uh, I can give you some tips too if you want. The biggest thing, honestly, is um, when it comes to like getting good shots, I'm not even gonna lie, is, is your composition. That's what, I, that's what I find it makes the biggest difference. A lot of things like with colors, a lot of other stuff like lighting and whatnot, you can mostly, if you're shooting in raw, which you should, um, you can typically fix that in like post a lot of times. But dude, if, if your composition is off, you can't fix that in post. So like the biggest thing that I've found that makes the biggest difference, putting a lot of time and like learning your shots. I know shutter speed, all that, all stop. It's just the ISO that So yes, yeah, so your ISO is basically, the higher the number is, the brighter your video is. But at the same time, the grainier it'll be. So if you have, yeah, ISO. yeah, basically, yeah. Because I know shooting at like lower ISO or higher ISO is better for like lower lights, I guess. Yeah. But that's why shooting at lower lights is difficult because it makes it grainy. Usually, if it doesn't show up. What's that? Oh, yes, that screws even giving you some issues. Honestly, the nice part about like this kind of stuff is is it's not hard to avoid certain aspects of the car. That's the other thing. Like, you don't want to like fake something, you know, make oh, yeah. it look like it's not. But I mean, when it's video work, it's like, I mean, you can just show it at a certain angle. Same thing with photography too, right? You just show it yeah. at a certain angle or work your way. Because no car is perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, regardless of what the me like me media makes it look like. That's the biggest problem with like cars and social media now is that nobody's ever satisfied with their cars because it never looks like, you know, like the next best thing. When in reality, if you go and you look at what the next best thing actually is, it's it's really not that much better. Oh yeah, so I'll do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is that open? Am I doing something wrong? I don't want to. I don't break your car. It's kind of like the passenger. You gotta, you gotta give like a give it a little love, hey? Tough love. Beauty. All right, sick. Let's do this. Now I get to do my get my settings all right. Yeah. Luckily with video stuff, it's a little bit more straightforward. I'm just gonna make sure I've got everything. So your shutter speed. Um, you always. Uh, basically the rule is is that whatever your frame rate is, you double it and then that's your shutter speed. So I'm shooting 30 frames per second. Yeah. So then I double that. So my shutter speed is one over 60. And then ISO, I mean, you, again, you want to keep that as low as possible. Oh yeah, that's a good shot right there. Yeah, it looks pretty good, hey? It doesn't look super dirty either. The other little thing too that I've learned is it's always good to, and you'll see me do it a lot, is it's always good to film too much yeah. rather than too little. That was another mistake that I made a lot with like photography was I never really 
took enough photos. And then I'd, you know, I, I'd be like, oh, I'm pretty sure I got a couple of good ones in there, right? And then you go back and you, you upload your photos on your laptop. Now, and then you're like, oh, this one, the focus wasn't quite right. Or this one, oh, maybe it was a little bit too like bright or something like that. Yeah. And then you're like, oh crap, I didn't have as many good photos as I want. So now I like, I overshoot more with, with video. I mean, with photo, with photography, you kind of learn, yeah. you know, like, but I mean, when you're beginning, like it's such a big, a big thing to like overshoot yeah. until you know that you're getting the right shot. Instagram, if you want to grow, you got to learn how to shoot video. It's, there's really no, there's no way around it. If you've grown, you know, a photography account, it might do well, but you're not going to really get super far with it, which is really, it's annoying. It's so annoying. I would love to be able to just post photos all day. I love doing video stuff, but I'd love to be able to do more of a variety and have that grow my account. But that's just not, it's just not a thing. I, I mean, almost all of my, like, whenever I do any kind of cinematics, I always have like a really good close up of like a badge or something like that. So is, is this your first car? Yeah. Yeah? That's kind of dope. Yeah. That's a pretty solid first car. Yeah. Uh, 01 Nissan Pathfinder for a little bit. Right. I don't count it because I only had it for like a month. Right. This is your first like actual like yeah, new it's the car. Yeah, actual car that I've like yeah, that's dope. That's that's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid first car. Yeah, and the thing is, it's the insurance on this was cheaper than, really, than a Nissan Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Yeah. That's so funny. By almost 100 bucks. Get a close up of the taillights here. Might be good. Yeah. How's this brightness looking? Let's do some interior shots. I think some I think some interior shots could could look good. Is this door handle funky too? Nope. Nice. Sometimes the handle Right. Nice. <laughs> Sick. What's that? I got a Bluetooth OBD scanner under my uh, under my dash. Oh, sick! Do you mind just shutting that door there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sick. Uh, actually, I think it'd be better from the outside. I was gonna do like a like a cluster shot. Oh. I, I think the I think the gauge clusters on these like. It's on like a slight angle. I think. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. And then I'm gonna come around to the side. One thing I also love about this car is that yep. these open. Oh, sick. But they like come out like this. So like. That's dope. Like, like, yeah, that's sweet. Like spaceship when they're open. Okay, and then. Flex of my sun is open, or it can open. Yeah. And get a nice little transition shot here. Sick. I mean, I'm not going for anything crazy long, so I should do it for all the shots. Yeah, I think a minute or maybe even less, you know, like a shorter yeah. thing. We'll see. We'll see what we've got to play with. It's the same old thing. I'll say we're done. You say you hate me. You throw your phone right on the concrete. Half out the door. Calling me crazy. I hear myself say I can't.
you just stay